Inventors from around the globe are seeking to make a lasting and impactful difference to sustainably protect our planet for future generations. From new renewable energy techniques to creating habitats for young sea life and AI-driven recycling, this video will reveal some incredible new solutions to the current environmental issues facing our world. Each of these creations is up for the 2022 European Inventor Award, or Young Inventors Prize. Two awards which celebrate inventors that are creating solutions to some of the biggest challenges of our time. Teams from Portugal, France, America, and as far as China and Israel have been chosen as finalists for this year's prize, which you can help vote for down below. First up, from a team in Portugal, comes a mooring system designed for floating solar farms that rotates to track the sun. Nuno Correa, Carla Gomez, and their team developed Solaris Float, little islands whose photovoltaic panels tilt to increase solar panel efficiency by up to 40% compared to stationary systems. Made from 100% recycled materials and fully recyclable after use, this system operates autonomously and rotates slowly to follow the sun during the day then returns back to its original position overnight. The system was designed for mostly calm bodies of water like lakes and reservoirs, and has been built to be long-lasting to withstand environmental factors like salt water and waves up to one meter high. Another recent invention by Israeli scientists Ido Seller and Shimrit Perkelfinkel has helped improve marine ecosystems in over 10 countries so far. E-concrete is a type of marine concrete that helps reduce the environmental footprint of infrastructure such as seawalls, ports and marinas, while also reinforcing the strength of the structures and allowing sea life to create a new habitat. Nominated in the non-EPO countries category for this year's European Inventor Award, E-concrete offers an incredible alternative to traditional concrete, which often causes chemical imbalances in marine ecosystems. This chemical imbalance creates an environment in which shellfish and coral cannot survive. To remedy this, e-concrete contains additives to the concrete that prevents harmful chemicals from leaking into the water that surround the structures. The mould into which this special concrete is poured were designed with the necessary ridges, crevices and pores required for marine plant and animal life to settle. Next up is a satellite instrument that helps improve both weather and climate forecasting. French engineer Frédéric Pasternak spent 10 years researching and developing his technology that can survive the extreme conditions of space. The precise measurements that his invention provides will better help countries, meteorologists, and climate scientists to understand and predict weather patterns, as well as potentially protect people from extreme weather events. His device will be launched into orbit in 2024. According to the World Bank, 2 billion tonnes of solid waste is generated by the world every year. The disposal or incineration of this waste creates an ever-growing environmental problem that is becoming increasingly challenging to combat. To try and help this, Victor de Wolf of Belgium and Peter Headley of the UK have created AI-driven plastic waste sorting, also known as RecycleEye. This invention is up for this year's Young Inventors Prize and is now being rolled out to recycling centres in the UK, Germany, France and Italy. Starting with only a treadmill, a camera and some dumpster dived rubbish, Recycle Eye has evolved into an incredibly intelligent computer vision system that uses artificial intelligence and a robotic arm to accurately identify recyclables among waste items. The pair's goal is to increase the purity and value of recycled waste bales meaning that there are less non-recyclables mixed in with the items which can be recycled. With millions of euros in funding raised, Recycle Eye has deployed 17 vision systems and 5 robotic arms across Europe, with more on the way. We can't wait to see how these two help reduce the world's waste problem. Finally, Rafaela de Bona Gonçalves of Brazil has also been nominated for this year's Young Inventors Prize for her creation of sustainable, low-cost period products accessible to disadvantaged groups. The biodegradable, plant fiber-based pads and tampons were initially designed to be given to homeless women throughout her community, but are now aiming to be sold on a buy one, give one basis globally. Using bamboo liner, cellulose, soy foam, and banana waste fiber, Gonsalves aims to combat period poverty around the world. 
Gonsalves came up with the idea when taking a course on design solutions aimed at tackling one of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. She has since launched an awareness campaign translated as I Take Part and has won several design awards. Her current goals include to continue to obtain funding to cut costs while increasing production capabilities and to start selling her product through EcoCiclo, a Brazilian women-led online marketplace for sustainable and women-made products. Each of these inventions reveals immense progress and possibility for the creation of a more sustainable future. To cast your vote for which inventions you think should win this year's European Inventor Award, click the link down below. The winners will be announced on the 21st of June at 12 noon Central European Standard Time, so be sure to get your vote in before then. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below, and we'll see you in the next one.